Welcome back to Tech Time with you guys. Uh, today uh, we have a 2010 Nissan Versa SL and we're going to show you how to change a spark plug and uh, coil. Let's go for it. Up the hood. We'll just pop up the hood. That's what we're going to do first. There we go. Alright guys, um, to remove the, to get access to the spark plug and the coil, you gotta remove the, uh, the engine cover, which is plastic, uh, this is plastic, and this uh, whole body two screws, which uh, we're using the, the 10, 10 millimeter socket and a extension and a ratchet. That's what I'm doing. There we go. It's loose. It's loose in this one here. Loose. Once it's loose, just use the uh, socket only. There we go. This one screws. And here's the second one. This is a 10 mil, uh, 10 millimeter socket. All right. Once you uh, get this uh, two screws out, and there's a uh, also there's a rubber bushing, and it's uh, part of the uh, plastic goes in it. So we just lift it up and out. That's what it looks like. Okay. And this is the cover for uh, engine cover. Because uh, this is what I was, uh, mentioned earlier about the bushing. Um, part of the, uh, the cover. Go into this bushing, okay? It's a rubber bushing. And it was a, it's a pin on the cover. So you go right in. And you just uh, snug it up. Uh, like uh, Pick it up and then uh, it comes off. And that's how you remove it. All right, guys. Um, when you, uh, we recommend is to remove this um, plastic uh, air intake um, to have a better access to the screws, which is uh, holding the um, the manifold itself. So it's for a better access. So it's how you do it. I just uh, take this out. It's a clip here. It's two clips. So when you get the clips out, um, just uh, remove the rest of it. So I'll just use the thing to come off easy. Like that. Like to do the bottom, the back one first. There you go. And you just lift all the whole thing up. You need to just like that, and the whole thing comes off. So this is a whole like one clip here, which have a rubber bushing on the bottom, and this for this one here, and just it, the whole thing comes off, the whole piece. Okay, guys, so, uh, what you want to do next is um, you're going to remove the the hose between the air intake and the throttle body. And there's uh, two clamps here we want to loose and there's uh, two screws. Um, we're using the, uh, let me see, the 8mm socket and a uh, ratchet with extension. Take out, um, loosen the, um, sure is it. there you go, it's movable. All right, that's one, and there's another one on the other side, and next to the um, the throttle body. All right, uh, here's the the clamp for the throttle body. Which the hose is connected to. Okay, that's it. It's loose. So um. Once you loosen the, the straps, just uh, get a flathead, try to uh, loosen this thing a little bit. There you go. It's easier to uh, move. There you go. Coming out pretty nice. Also, do the same thing. The one that connect to the throttle body. There you go. So next I want to um, remove this clamp right here, squeeze it, and pick it up, put it up there for now, that's it. Then you remove this here, there you go, it's part of the hose. Alright, this is already loosened, so once it's loose, just pull it apart, there you go. It's one side, 
and then do the other side for fl throttle body. Next, you wanna separate from the throttle body. So just wiggle around and just pull. There you go. All right, guys. Uh, well, it's a rough one. Uh, basically, uh, this is a uh, connected to the, the throttle body. Then this is the for the intake. And I can see you don't need you don't need to take the clamp out. Just leave it there. Just loosen it and just pull. And this is the whole uh, part of it. All right. To remove the throttle body, uh, you need this uh, this hose right here. You need to get out. And then there's gonna be like two like four different uh, screws. I believe it's 10, uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, I'll have to double check that one. And so what we do first is to remove this hose first, and then there's another hose you gotta remove. We're just blocking it, so that's why I remove that first. There you go. All right. Um, to remove this, you just uh, there's a four bolt here. We're using the um, what's it? Eight millimeter uh, socket and a ratchet. To remove the four bolt is uh, connecting the um, throttle body. Go. Let's tighten. Let's loosen this up a little bit. There we go. That's one. It's loose. Once it's loose, just take it out by your hand. You don't want to drop the. There you go. That's one. Right. Here's the second one. There you go. Easy. Okay. Let's loose this. Use the socket only. Take it out. There we go. This third one. All right, the fourth one I can um, show you. Because like it is hidden behind the throttle itself, but you have that feel around and just put a try to get it out. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go once loose. Here's the fourth one. All right, once you get the four bolts out, uh, as you can see, this is separated. Um, this is the, uh, the throttle body and um, the manifold. It's separated, so that's what uh, we need to do. And now we can go uh, attack the, um, the manifold itself to open up the cover. All right, um, once you remove the uh, throttle body, uh, separate the manifold. Uh, what do you want to do next is uh, remove the, uh, I believe the six total of a um, bolt uh, to help get to remove the uh, manifold itself. So there's going to be one here and the second one right here, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth one is way in the left here. All right, and that's all. That's what you need to do. With you're using the 10 millimeter socket and an extension and a ratchet. All right, uh, this one is the first one here. Do that one. Make sure it's snug in. And break it.
once loose just use the uh, socket in the extension to take out the bolt that's one I don't want to drop that either okay and this one right there all right um it's kind of like uh rough to uh remove the, my second bolt um, but this is because they're not in the way, so we just want to take that out. It's the um, the mount for the engine cover. So let's take that out. Have better access. There you go. There's two of them. I'm gonna move this one and that one also. That way we have a better access to uh, to the bolt. Once that moves. There you go. There's one. There's the second one. Get you a snug and break it. There you go. Loose. Stick it up manually by your hand with the socket and the extension only. There you go. The second one. Once you remove the mounting um, cover, um, you can better access to the second bolt is right under the um, the manifold itself so me do this can't see okay that's in second bolt it's right under the manifold itself just there you go. It's loose. Take it out. Yeah, try not to drop it either. Pain. There we go, right there. All right, um, for the third ball, I would recommend just uh, like uh, lift up the, um, the dipstick and just move it a little bit so we have a uh, clearance to the third bolt. There you go. And dipstick. Okay. So guys, um, once you. Uh, just do the rest of the the bolt. Just uh, be careful with it. You don't want to strip the uh, the bolt. And um, just uh, do the rest. Uh, I think we are going to oh six bolt basically is what we're doing. So I'm um, just uh, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. All right. Just finish this real, real quick. Well, okay, guys, so, uh, for this last bolt on the back, um, what you need to use is uh, the 12 millimeter uh, wrench and a short socket uh, ratchet. Because uh, if you just use the the socket um, with the ratchet, it the bolt in the back just keep moving, so you gotta stabilize it. And it's a little tight here though. There we go. And there we go, slowly. While at the wrench is holding the back, you just uh, loosen the one up front with the socket. Slowly. There you go. One's coming out, same way, use your hand manually and get it out. So the socket. One is loose. Just use your fingers and just get it out. You don't want to drop the screws either. There you go. And we got it. Alright, I can see you guys. Um, there's another bolt right behind the, uh, the hiding um, behind the throttle body. So that's what we're taking it out. It's the uh, 10 millimeter socket. Alright, that's what we're doing. Woo! <laughs> 
this rough time consuming on this one all we should lose that's an easy let me take it out no room at all oh Tom Jim there it's my bigger there you go all right there's a hose right here so like you want to push that out first and this one here should be out that way and now we can actually uh, take it out all right guys all the hoses are out of the way the screws out and here's your manifold all right guys uh what when you move the hose back a little bit just pull it forward so there's another hose uh, in the back of this uh, manifold and uh, you want to take a um, there's a clamp there you gotta remove you can see it's right here um you can see there's one clamp here and one clamp here we'll gotta remove the hose and take out this uh, manifold okay all right just get a wire and move the clamp up that's how you remove the hose Yeah, you need a uh, flat head to uh, loosen it a little bit and then so once you uh, loosen it, uh, move, move the uh, clips all right guys uh, once you move the clip up here and what you want to do is just uh, wiggle a little bit to pull out the hose there you go there you go that's what and here's the second one to the clamp and remove the clamp there's no room there you go All right uh, once you um, move the clip you just uh, wiggle a little bit and take out the hose there we go hey look at this guys this is this the manifold itself this is where the throttle body goes right here and this probably goes to the engine and this is it the manifold all right guys uh, next uh, we want to do is uh, once the um, the manifold is came off and um, removed as you can see there's uh, four um, coil which is right in inside it is uh, it's, um, spot plugs that's what we have to take out first the uh, four coils which is held by the wire harness and then um, the 10 millimeter um, bolt so right now we just want to show you this just take out the wire harness first there you go like uh, this clip here and just uh, pull it out press on the clip pull it out press down the clip pull it out all right, uh, here's the last one. It's the opposite of the direction. And the same way, press the button and pull it out. Just like that. All right, let's go with the first coil. There's not which one you want to get out first. So get the 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and just, uh, there you go. Loose, just take it out of your hand. And two, there you go. Third one. Let's go easy on it. That's all. There you go. Alright, uh, once you remove the wire harness and the bolt, you just uh, take it out. 
one. A little dirty there, but it's all right. Let's clean it up after. Well, it's what it looked like, by the way. <coughs> this is the coil, which the uh, part of the spark plug goes in here. All right, this is the uh, the coil, guys. Uh, this is what it looked like. Um, which is this is where the wire harness goes, and this is where the bolt, and this part of the um, the spark plugs tip it goes in here. So it's just like that, and it's what it looked like. All right, the second one. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why I need to change this thing. All right, let's go back to the third coil. Oh my God, you for real? So much oil on this thing, in it. Maybe that's why. Uh... Okay. Go with that fourth coil. And here's the fourth one. Let's try. Here's the fourth one. Swipe it down a little bit before you put it back in. Alright guys, um, so the coil is out. Uh, now let's go for the uh, spot plugs. Uh, basically I'm using the 14mm uh, socket an extension and a ratchet um, if you want you can go to um, like uh, events auto or something to buy a specifically um, like a special of the um, spark plug removal but probably 10 15 dollars for one but I would just use a regular socket is fine the difference between uh, the, the spark plug removal socket is the inside is actually a rubber which is squeeze the uh, tip of the um, spark plugs and you just pull it out. That's the difference. But this one here is no um, rubber in it, so we just uh, do a normal thing and use a um, a magnet to pull it out. All right, I'll show you that after. And so that's what I'm doing: extension and a ratchet and 14 millimeter socket. All right, so let's go with this one first. Pull easy on it. It's snugged in, and just there you go. And that's it, and you just keep going. You good? Mm -hmm. So once it's loose, just use your hand and and um, without the ratchet, just get it out. All right, it's loose. As you can see my um, spot didn't come out, so I use the magnet. Recommend you get one of these. And just get it out. And here you go. This is the spark plug. Alright, you can see this is the spark plug. Which the, um, here's the tip of the spark plug. And, and here's part of it. It's pretty dry, but a little wet over oil. But it's not bad. But as you can see, the tip of it is not that great. It's rusted and it's probably need to be uh, changed all right and the third one and should snug in and break it there you go keep it straight on a 90 degree angle so that way it's at uh, the Spark plug can come out a little smoother. There you go. It's loose, so take out the ratchet and do it by hand. This one has a lot of oil in it somehow. Gotta clean it up before you put a new spark plug in. And clean your coil. Tip your coil. Alright, seems pretty loose, and now let's just go for the magnet to take out the spark plug. Oh my goodness, look at that! Definitely need to be changed and clean. That's oil. And let's go with the magnet. Take out the uh, and here's the spark plug. 
coat with oil. Yeah, I can see that uh, this is very nasty. Uh, um, all oil cover the uh, spark plug. Good reason why is, um, the car have problem. So it's why we're replacing the spark plugs. Oh right, yeah, guys. Um, that was the third one. So there's uh, there's two more to go. So I'll just do the rest of it using that. I think it was 14 millimeter uh, socket, a ratchet, and extension, and get the, the other two out. All right. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hey guys, uh, spark plug time is for them. Um, I got this from Advanced Auto, called Auto Light brand. It's part number is XP5684, and it's a uh, Iridium XP. All right, check out the spark plug. There you go. The tips are preset, so okay. And we're using the uh, extension and a 14 millimeter uh, socket to install this. All right, uh, it doesn't matter which plug you want to go first. I'm going to go with the left to the right, and you just drop right in nicely like that. And use your uh, 14 millimeter socket and. There you go, and just install your block plug. Pretty straight. There you go, just tight. That's one. Hook over two. Nice way. Start in manually. Put them in your hand before you use your ratchet. Make sure it goes in. There you go. That's number two. All right. Let's go with number three. Nicely. Drop it in. Your 14 millimeter socket manually. Put it through straight, like a 90 degree angle. There you go. That's the third one. And here's the fourth one. Drop it in. Get you straight. And manually. Okay. That's the fourth. Tighten it up. Still your 90 degree angle. You can feel it. There you go. Okay. Use a ratchet. And for the second one. There you go. You don't want to snap the spot plug the thread so if you look at the third one right here there you go perfect third go to the fourth one Again. That's it, that's for the spark plug, all for a brand new one. Okay. Alright you guys, uh, coil time, we got four of them, uh, we actually we have to replace one because it actually is cracked as you can see, alright, so uh, the part number is E1049 and this is from um, Avance Auto, again, it's Intermotor uh, Genuine Import Parts. All right, and that's the part number is E one zero four nine.
All right, here's the coil. All right, here's the brand new coil. So basically we just put it through here. Go. So basically you want to just align the bolt hole, um, the bolt hole with the, um, the coil and just manually with your finger put it in for a little bit and then after use the uh, 10 millimeter socket because it's nice and snug looks good and tighten with the 10 millimeter socket and a, and a ratchet and you don't want to be uh, too tight either you don't want to snap it so this is good there you go coil number two align and then use the here manually put it in make sure the uh, coil and the spark plug is snugged in and use the hold in place that's number two coil number three align snugged in manually socket and a ratchet and tight snugged We're good third one fourth one align Go out. Go socket. Yes, ten millimeter socket. Like then, perfect. All four. Alright, uh, once all the cores in place, the bolt is tightened, and the next step you want to do is just put the, um, the wire harness back in. So just, there you go, snap in. There you go. That's two. Here's the third one, snapped in. And the fourth one is over here. And we are good to go. There you go. Make sure it's nice and snug though. Alright, let's align the screws, put it uh, back in place. Then we do it. And in. That's good. Place. All right. Once you align the uh, hole, uh, just put one bolt here for this one to hold everything in place. Let's see, I can't really see. I feel it. There you go. That should hold in place. And then the next one you want to do is just put the um, the bolt with the uh, passengers uh, side. Um, the mount right here. There's a nut in the back. Let me put it in by hand before you uh, use a socket to uh, really tight it. So just put in everything in place. That way, you want to make sure and we can like move it around, align the, all the bolt and uh, screws. Okay, uh, let's uh, align that and put the manifold bolt in here manually. Use your hand with a 10 millimeter socket. And put it in. Just want to snug it, it. You don't want to tighten anything yet. That's one. Put the bolt right there. Let me see. Go. So I'm gonna 
go in nice and in. Perfect. Next one. Okay, there's a third one. You can see I'm just uh, put it in. I'm not going to tighten anything yet. It's the third, fourth one. Let's see, I want to make sure it goes in nice and. There you go. Fourth. It's the last one. Uh, everything is aligned up, so when you do, I want to tighten everything now. So, that's what I'm doing next. Pull this one a little tighter. And sorry if I'm blocking you. And then you go with the 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Tighten this up. Also, you don't want to like a uh, they're too tight either because uh, you want to crack the uh, plastic. Just be patient, going in nice and slow, and you feel it when it's too tight, you just stop. That's it, should be fine. Good, I'm just like then. All right, guys. Um, we want to do now is just uh, there's uh, four screws up here uh, in front of the uh, manifold, and you want to tighten the, the middle one first, um, and then you work your way out to the left, to the right, and then um, there you go. Just tighten. You don't want to strip it either. Okay. That's good. Let's go to the left one next. Okay. Get your ratchet. Stay at that 90 degree angle. Straight anyway. There we go. Next one. That was the left one. We're working our way out. Let's go to the right. If you want to spread uh, this way? It um, what's it called uh, balance the um, the pressure. Okay, good my feel right now. If you want to um, torque it, you can uh, Google it to see uh, what the uh, torque specs are, and you can take it that way. Okay, for me, I just like feel the thing, feel um, it was tight enough, and um, you know, do some extra. Like, go this one here, next one. Go tight. Do a little more. There you go, nice and tight. And the last one, this one at the right. Angle. Okay, here we go. It's good. All right, um, for this part here, um, you gotta use a 12 millimeter uh, a wrench, uh, which hold um, the nut in the back and use a uh, the a ratchet and a, a socket, pull the meter up front to tighten it. So, that's what I'm doing. So, hold the back and then tighten the front. Slowly just do it. Fine. It's going in. Barely any room, but got to get it done. Alright, this basically is for the manifold mounting. It's on the passenger side, so it's pretty tight right now. So you don't want to strip either, so we're good. 
<laughs> Pretty tight. Next up. All right, I uh, just put um, the PCV uh, hose back. So basically, it's from this one here to the back of the uh, manifold, and use the uh, just put in the hose back and then uh, use the uh, plier to uh, move the uh, clips back. All right, that's what I'm doing. So you probably can't see it, but uh, that's that's the next step that you uh, I'm doing. So push that back and the hose back to the grooves, and then and put the back on that's that's it for that one all right um you can see is a uh, back on manifold this hose gotta go back go back there um probably can't really see it i will block it so i'm just showing you where it goes and basically just put the it's right here all right i'll just uh put that in right there and hold this in and i'll just um, move the clamp up okay you need a nose plier Grab that. One. I'm trying to show you at the same time here. No way I want. All right. Um, basically, you want to make sure we're not confuse ourselves here. Uh, um, we want to do the one side first, like please the left side, the left side of the engine. So right now we have the um, the PCV hose is put in place, and also the um, the back of manifold hose is actually in also. So there's only make sure this is the section is already done so then we can move to the right section all right. all right the next stop is on the right side of the engine um the manifold wire harness it's right here just snap it back in just like that and then go to the next step all right um the next step we want to do is just uh, position the uh, throttle body and align the uh, screws um that's what we want you to do align the hole and then they put the screws in Hold it in place before we tighten it manually. There's one there. Let's try to put it in here. And use your hand and put it in. Okay, just want to hold it in place. That's it. That's one. Let's go to the next one in the bottom. I'll carry it across. And right there. Tough to be short. It's a back breaker right now. Reaching over to put the screws in. Alright, that's it's in place. Alright, here's the third one. You can also use the uh, eight millimeter uh, socket. Try to manually put it in there. There you go. That one there. Tighten it up a little bit. Other side. With um, the last one, remember the hiding one behind the throttle body. That's what we're doing next. I want to take that last. That's in. So the last one, you gotta feel it. You can't really see it. All right. Um, as you can see, uh, you can't really see. I'm sorry. Um, but you just have to feel it and put the screws in there. All right. That's why it's hidden and you can't really see it at all. So you gotta feel where the hole is and try to put the screws in. And uh, I am blocking your way. Sorry about that. It's going in, okay, and use the, uh, the socket, the deep socket, and try to put it in. Let's see. There you go, it's going in. Perfect. All right, that's uh, the fourth one. All right, uh, once you um, uh, tighten the screw by your hand, and now you just uh, use a uh, millimeter, a eight millimeter socket extension and a ratchet, small ratchet, and tighten the screws. Okay. You can say before, try not to strip the screws. 
screws. One there. Other one. Maybe you don't need the extension on this one. So that off. Okay, and that's three, and here's a, that's the second one, is the third one. Okay, that's it. So this one here got a field, the last one at the corner, on the bottom. There it goes to the end. Okay, that's it. That's the fourth one, nice and tight. Right, um, here's uh, the throttle body harness to so snap it back in. Just like that. Nice and snugged. Next. All right, uh, there's uh, two couple hoses here uh, for the throttle body. And uh, actually, uh, it's molded um, position so it go where it's supposed to go. Like, for example, this one here. Close to it, so. Oh, you can like, snap a picture too if you want. Once you put them in, uh, use the um, plier and move the clip up to lock in place. All right, I'll use the vice grip and move the clamp. Oops, let's go this way and put it in place there. Boom. Perfect. Next one. Get a second hose right here. So insert it. And then you want to get the vice grip. I probably have blocking you, but I need to do this part of it and move the hose in here. And let it go. And perfect. Okay, uh, next one. Um, get a hose here to the manifold. And then just use the vice grip. Move that up. And let it go. There you go. Nice and snug. Alright, uh, next thing I want to do is um, put the this hose uh, between the, the throttle body and the uh, air intake. Alright, that's what we're doing. Uh, tight, but we can do it. That one there. And push this in. Right yeah, a little rough, but we can do it. Right there. It's going in. Shaking the whole car. Yep. Getting strong now. Shaking the whole car. There you go. That is in. Now just tighten the uh, the clamp back with uh, I think it's eight millimeter um, socket and extension and a ratchet and we're good. Well, I'm here. So the, basically the the hose is back in place position, but I did not tighten the clamp yet. And there's another hose here. Just put it in like that and use the um, sear to actually hold on. Back up for now. I want to position the, the clamp easily to do that. Okay, and move the clamp down and just let it go. Okay, and just like that. Perfect. Put it, put, a, put it back in the same spot when I took it out so that way it's in nice and snug. And that's all for that. And I'll go um, tighten the, um, the clamp for the uh, throttle body and the uh, air intake um, hose. Alright, um, just tighten the air, air intake clamp back with the 8mm um, extension and a ratchet, small ratchet I have here. What I'm doing. Go. Okay. 
There you go. It's tight for that one. So you can say, do not strip it. It's not worth it. Go. All right, uh, next one. Uh, do the throttle body clamp. There you go. Goes tight. And we are good. Perfect. All right, once everything is put in place, uh, mani the uh, manifold and everything, and the tubes, um, the hose, so let's put the, um, the plastic molding back for the air intake. Here. Here. The bushing. Snap on plastic clips. This in place, perfect. Now for the engine cover. All right, um, just put the um, engine cover mount back in. So basically, uh, it's a 10 millimeter um, screws. There you go. That one there. And use the socket just to tighten it up with a ratchet. Then, there's the other one, one left, one right, same screw size, put your hand, tighten it there, this, perfect, alright, um, now to put the engine cover back on, so basically, Slap this uh, back into the, the mound and the two screws. One there, here, align the hold, and then put the screws in. Okay, don't want to snap it either. That's it. Whew, rough job. Thank you for watching Tech Time with T. That is how you do a 2010 Nissan Versa SL spark plug and coil replacement. You have a good day. Take care.